Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel which is Bobster1984 It has been ages since I've done a video But seeing as though something happened this weekend Which is obviously the whole focus and the whole point of my channel Which has always been about Newcastle United I do feel like it is about time I came out of this exile so to say Where have I been? People might be asking where I've been um, since, obviously, the last time I've done a video, which was last year. Um, I just, I, I, I don't know what it is. I, I found it really difficult to do um, the videos that I usually do um, for Newcastle stuff and things like that. Uh, where we've been in the championship, it's, it's been um, hard uh, to, to, try to, to give an honest assessment on games when I haven't been able to watch every single game. As you know, obviously, if you've followed my channel since the start, I did used to have a season ticket. I did give it up um, a few years ago. I do not have a season ticket right now, but, you know, I was always able to watch the games. You know, and I still obviously go to a few games myself still, but um, that's not been this, the, the case for us the, this season, obviously, with being in the championship. I've not been able to watch all the games. I've only been to a handful of, of games, you know. I've, in fact, I think I've only been to three. Um, which isn't my usual standard. If I'm being brutally honest, I, I just haven't had the will or the want to go to games this year. Um, and I know obviously we've been winning and everything like that, but it just hasn't been there. And if you look, obviously, again, if you've been following my channel since the start, you will know that I am getting married this year, so I've had other things uh, to, to deal with. Anyway, that clears up where I've been for the past five or six months. Newcastle United... Are champions of the championship. I mean, it did, I mean that's it. I mean, you don't you don't need to see anything else. I did obviously a few weeks ago think would blow it, as a lot of people had. Um, but you know, promotion was the was the main um, target for this year. So I was one of those people. I were promoted those, so didn't worry about it. You know, we've we've done well. We've done what we needed to do. Whether we get that title on the last day of the season would just be the cherry on top. Let's be brutally honest. When people woke up yesterday morning, there was only one thing on their mind, and that was getting that title. Seeing the lads lift that trophy at the end of the day. I knew we were obviously going to get a second place trophy, which I totally disagree with. Um, but you know, getting that you know that title of champions and, and that title, and just to see a bit of silverware at St James's Park, you know, was good to see. Obviously, I wasn't there myself, but obviously I've seen the pictures and the videos, and it's it's been fantastic. You know, um, Rafa Benitez holding aloft that trophy. And I, obviously this morning, going around on Twitter, um, the the photo of him and Charnley and, and Ashley, and you just think, you know, just give the bloke what he wants, you know. I mean, he's he's done what he what what was asked of him. He's got to back up, and you know, give him give him a shot. You know, he wants to obviously clearly do it, and he wants to obviously, you know, give it a good go. Just give him what he wants and and get it over and done with. Make sure it doesn't drag out all summer. Hopefully they'll have these talks that they're going to have in the next couple of days and everything will be sorted. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been a, obviously a pleasing season. You know, it's good to always see a team win. But it's also been one of those seasons, as it was the last time we were in the Championship. I were winning games, but it's only in the Championship. It's been, you know, fair play. We've been, it's good to see a team winning, but I would love to see my team win these games and do well in the Premier League. And I'm glad we're back there, to be, to be brutally honest. Um I think um, a lot of a lot of um, support has gone in over the last few weeks with uh, with certain players. Um, I think uh, you know Perez has actually come on leaps and bounds the last few games. I think um, you know scoring a few goals, which is always the thing that seems to be missing from his game. He doesn't always seem to get enough goals, but you know he's in the middle of the season. I was one of these people where I was saying you know he, he can't even do it in the championship. But that flick for that goal yesterday was sublime. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And you know, you'll obviously know I'm a fan of Mitrovic. I always have been. But the problem is, he just hasn't scored enough goals. Um, but his performances, I think, going back to at least the Leeds game recently, he's shown he can be an asset for the team with his work rate, and he can provide assists. His assist for Dwight Gale's last goal, like obviously goal yesterday, you know, it was a lovely little flick over. And I do think he's got, you know, things to offer. Uh, but obviously there's rumours flying around that Rafa Benitez doesn't trust him and things like that. I mean, if that's the case, it's fair play. You know, I understand why um, a manager wouldn't trust a hothead like Mitrovic. But I, again, I, I'd, I'd like to see him stay. 
Um, the players I think that we definitely need to keep. Obviously, Matt Ritchie was my is my player of the season. I think he's been fantastic. You know, goals and assists and consistent performances all the way through. Carl Darlow obviously is another one who's come on leaps and bounds this year. I think he's a little bit unfortunate to have lost his place uh, the last couple of games. Obviously, with uh, Rob Elliott going back in, but. On the other side of the scale, it was nice to see Rob Elliott get some time after his, his bad injury that cost him, you know, the majority of the season last year. And, you know, he, 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 well, not the majority, so the, the last few games of the season last year. And, he, you know, he's done, he always done a good job for us, Rob Elliott, and I think it's nice to see him play, but there's a bit of a shame for Dolo at the same, at the same way. I think uh, there's been a lot of criticism going towards Jamal Lascelles, and I think it's a lot of it is unfounded. You know, um, obviously coming out with uh, this this hernia operation as to why he missed the last game, and and, and you know this is why he, he's been playing with this hernia operation for a while. You know, if that's the case, fair play at the bloke. But his performances have been a bit so poor. But he's still a young lad, and he's he's just been made captain. So for me, you know, he's he's definitely got to be one of those that needs to stay. Obviously, Dwight Gales, obviously, you know, first name on the sheet in terms of goals. But we desperately need to get some steel in that midfield. So I'm hoping that obviously we're going to get you know everything sorted with Rafa. We're going to get everything sorted for uh, players early. We're going to have these players in for uh, pre-season, which hopefully um, you know which hopefully will come to come to be the the case. But yeah, I mean it's great obviously to see Newcastle obviously uh, winning the league, especially in the uh, the circumstances as it was. I was watching. Uh, soccer Sunday as it would be um, obviously with Jeff um, on Sky Sports yesterday and it was funny because I was I was actually more interested um, you know when we were two and a up in coast and Brighton had got, had got that penalty I was more interested at that point obviously when it looked like it was all over in terms of our uh, you know last day heroics I was more interested in seeing um, the, the Blackburn Birmingham and Nottingham Forest relegation triangle that was quite interesting you know, I don't know if anyone else watched it, but obviously Blackburn had about six strikers on at the end of the game, <laughs> desperately trying to score another three goals. But obviously, then it comes on that uh, Grealish has scored for for Villa, and in, in, you know that's when you wish you were at St James's. Everyone that was there, obviously, I hope he's had a great day, and I hope he's had a great night last night celebrating. There was a few beers drunk, but we're back in the Premier League, lads, and uh, we're back where we belong. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.